Air Force comes away with a win here at Clune Arena over the University of Colorado Springs at Colorado Springs Mountain Lions by a score of 63 to 51. And really a tale of two halves, or I should say a tale of the first quarter and then the rest of the game for the Falcons. <laughs> Yeah, UCCS really out of the gate was really good, really, really took it to the Falcons offensively, started the game out on a 12 to two run. Falcons really adjusted a little bit better in the second half and then, um, you know, came out really in the fourth quarter. It was kind of a little bit evenly matched at times, but the work that the Falcons had done in the second and third quarters kind of paid tribute. I think the story of the game is the turnovers. Falcons were able to turn the Mountain Lions over 35 times. I mean, that's a really, really tough number. This yeah. is a team that only averages 17 turnovers a game, so you double that. 32 points of Air Force's 63 points came off those turnovers. On the game, UCCS shot 42% from the field. Air Force really kind of struggled at times. You know, they kind of went through some lulls in the fourth quarter where they struggled to kind of make some shots. Only shot 32% on the game. Falcons did a good job on the free throw line down the stretch. 15 of 19 from the charity stripe. But let's take a look at some of these highlights and how this game kind of played out. We talked about the start. Mason White finished with 13 points. Another point of this game I think UCCS has to be proud of is the job they did on the glass. We're able to out-rebound the Falcons 45 to 34. And Amaya Moore Allen was an absolute stud offensively did a phenomenal job Falcons really had a hard time keeping her in front of them she finished with a game high 19 points but let's get into the second half a little bit and kind of how the Falcons adjusted we look at McMillan great drive right here Joe Hunnamer able to intercept gets it up the floor Falcons are running in transition McMillan finishing at the rim Great ball movement, great great job sharing the basketball. That's Madison Smith right there. She finished with four. But the story of the game for me offensively was Kayla Pilsen. Only in her second game back after missing five with a broken hand, she was phenomenal tonight for the Falcons. Finished with 17 points, 14 rebounds. Falcons on a two game win streak now, you know, back at home, feeling good about themselves. This is such a tough defensive team and definitely looking forward to kind of stretch this out. They'll play again here on Saturday against Utah Tech to see if they can make it three in a row. But I think, you know, both teams can walk away from this tonight with some positives and both offensively and defensively. And you know, Coach G, being the coach that she is, she'll have some takeaways and improvements for her team. But hopefully they can tie together a string of three wins going into the Christmas break, rounding out the semester and being able to come back and start league play. I'm Jean Presti and Rachel Galligan. Thank you for joining us here on the Mountain West Network for Air Force Women's Basketball.